having a great day and are doing well. I know I've been missing in action for a little bit, but I am back with a haul for you. I did a little shopping at the Sephora VIB Summer Bonus Event, I believe that's what it's called, and then also had a customer appreciation event that they do every year where you get 10 times the points on certain um, products and then five times the points on everything else. So let's go ahead and jump into this haul. So I'm going to start off with the things I picked up from Ulta. It's not a lot of stuff and I got all of this for either 10 times the points or 5 times the points and I think that's a really great time to shop at Ulta when you can get those point multipliers because your points turn into dollars that you can take off in future purchases. So I picked up two of these Shea Moisture Raw Shea, Shea Butter Extra Moisture Detangler. I love these things. I'm glad to see that they changed the packaging because when I first went natural and I was using this product, this container was like freaking hard as hell to squeeze. Damn near had to be the rock to get any product out, but it seems like these are easy to squeeze. And I really do like this product. It really does help keep moisture in your hair, makes your hair nice and soft. And I can use this in my hair and in the kids' hair as well. So these were buy one, get one free. And I believe all Shea Moisture products were 10 times the point. So that was a really great deal. The next product I picked up from Ulta comes from Ardell, and this is the Stroke A Brow Feathering Pin. I picked up two because they were buy one, get one free, and then 10 times the points. So I picked this up in the color soft black because I was concerned that the brow might be a little too red and I have cool toned brows. So they are just little brow pins. I love how in the container they are even sealed so you know that no one's been messing with your brow pin. And then let me show you how this looks. See, nice sharp point. And I'm gonna make a line. Hopefully you can see that. So you can do nice feathery strokes and I like how this doesn't look like eyeliner because that's one thing about eyebrow pins that make me a little nervous. I'm not trying to go for that Sharpie brow look. You know the look I'm talking about. And the last product I picked up from Ulta is a product that you can also get from Sephora and that is the ABH times Jackie Ina palette. This box is everything. Look at that. I could just do that all day. It's gorgeous. Here is the palette outside of its box and again it's gorgeous. I hadn't seen this palette in person prior to purchasing. I'd only seen you know the promo pics and I've been playing with it and I'm working on a review but just first impressions when you open this palette it's just it's breathtaking. It's a really gorgeous looking palette. So the first item I picked up is from Caudalie and this is their Beauty Elixir. I opted to get it in the mini size because I've been wanting this for a while. I love the way this smells whenever you're in a Sephora. Just mist yourself in this. It just smells so good. So you can use this as a skin refresher or to um, take down the powderiness in your makeup. I feel like Caudalie will probably have this in a set for the holidays. So I just opted to get the small one just to kind of hold me over till then. And the last skincare item I picked up from Sephora comes from Marc Jacobs. And this is just a mini size of the Marc Jacobs Youth Quake. This got really great reviews. It's a moisturizer. It says it has powerful pineapple enzymes and that it's going to help give your skin a glowy complexion. So it is definitely speaking my language. I was on line last night. I saw that Philosophy just released a new moisturizer. I believe it's called Renewed Hope in a Jar Water Cream. I'll post a picture up and let me pull that up real quick. Be right back. Okay, so it is called Renewed Hope in a Jar Water Cream, and to be honest with you, the description reads a lot like this Mark Jacobs Youth Quake. It says that it increases hydration, and it also helps to instantly unleash a fresh natural glow from within. And you can currently find this on Ulta's website, and it's $39 for two ounces versus the Mark Jacobs Youth Quake that's $59 for 1.7 ounces. So... I am kind of curious to try this. This seems like a easier on the wallet moisturizer because 60 bucks versus 39 and you're getting more on the $39 one. I probably will give that one a try as well. 
just to see how they compare and then decide from there. The rest of these products are all complexion products. I am combination oily, but lately I've been liking a more dewy, maybe not dewy, glowy type of foundation. I want my skin to look like skin, and with matte foundations, I just haven't been liking the way they've been sitting on my skin. I want my skin to look healthy, where you're like, okay, what is your skincare routine? And I'm just not seeing that with matte foundation. So I wanted to kind of give my complexion products an overhaul. And these are the items I thought could help me do that. So from Cover of X, I picked up the Perfect Press Powder. Here it is in its box. And I picked this up because I want to use this to refresh my makeup throughout the day. So this will go in my purse. It comes with a little pad. And I believe this comes in three shades. So this is the shade that it comes in. And one thing I really like about Cover Effects and drew me to this particular powder is that it's talc free and that's something that's becoming more important to me as I get older. I'm not wanting powder or products with talc in them and this is talc free and I thought that this would be really nice to put in my bag and then I can touch up on the go. From Milk Makeup, I picked up the Blur and Set Matte Loose Setting Powder. That's how it looks in its box. It comes, you can't really see the detail, but it says milk across it. It comes in three shades. I opted for the shade Translucent Medium. This is how it looks outside of its box. It looks like this. And this is another talc-free product. So that's something I'm really... Um, interested in the talc free products I do have it on my face today I used it to really highlight my contour and first impressions I really do like this I just wish it was a little easier to get out the container I have one more powder to share with you I know I went powder crazy but um, I definitely needed these powders I felt just to get the complexion I'm going for now and this one is from Laura Mercier and it is the candle glow sheer perfecting powder and this is how it looks in its box. This comes in six shades. I opted for shade number four. So this is how the powder looks. And this seriously is giving me hourglass feels. Like doesn't that look like a powder that hourglass would have? And I was interested in this one because I want to set my face, but I don't want to lose any type of glow. So I figure that this would be a really great powder to put on, but still have a glow and luminosity to my skin without pattering that away so I'm really excited to give this a try it got pretty good reviews from Huda Beauty I picked up one of her Tantor contour and bronzer cream and how many shades does this come in I believe this comes in five six I'll list it for you I picked up the shade medium because this was the tone I was going for I swatched the shade tan and that was a little bit cooler and I wanted something that was gonna give me some warmth so this is how it looks outside the container really like how this sits it's nice and flat won't take up too much room and I'm glad that I'm able to use this because I'm not able to use a lot of Huda Beauty complexion products because all of the scent and fragrance she puts in them like I just it makes my skin itch and I didn't think I had skin sensitivities so I tried some of her stuff but it just doesn't agree with my skin but I do have this on and it's giving me this nice warmth and contour and I like how pigmented it is you really don't need a lot from NARS I picked up one of their soft matte complete concealers this is the little box that it comes in and I picked it up in the shade medium dark one biscuit I think NARS just always does a nice job on their packaging just classic matte black and let me open it so you can see so I have kind of dipped into it. I used a little bit underneath my eyes, underneath my brows. And the last item I picked up is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And this is their new luminous foundation. Since I'm interested in achieving more, more of a glow look, I really was curious about trying this foundation. I picked it up in the shade 360C. And that's what's on my skin in this video. I think this is a really nice shade match for me. This is the fifth time I'm wearing it. I really wanted to wear it and put it through a thorough test and it has been rain, it has been through sun and heat. Um, so I could give you a thorough review on this. And luckily I just had all the elements thrown at me last week. So um, I've really been putting this to the test so I can work on a review. 
that's everything I picked up from the Sephora VIA Beal Summer Sale and from the Ulta Appreciation Sale. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. I have been doing a massive clean out, really going through my makeup, seeing what I can let go, what I can donate, what I can sell, and what just needs to be thrown in the trash. And I really want to work on some videos about smart makeup shopping. Um, that's something I am really passionate about and want to share with you. So I'm working and jotting down um, different themes and things I've learned through my massive clean out to share with you and hopefully that information can really aid you in when you go shopping for makeup yourself. So expect those videos and reviews on some of the items you saw in this haul. I thank you so much for taking the time out to watch and spend some time with me and I will see you in a video real soon. Love y'all. Bye guys.